I just noticed uh, I was gonna add this in here. This uh, let's see where's it got there. It is. Right here. This is this big white, big white hair, right? Last night uh, I burned that thing off with a lighter ten times in a row, and like within less than a minute and a half, two minutes. Sizzle, 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 smoke. Sizzle, 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 smoke. And every time I looked, it was still there. And, uh, well, it's still there now. All along my collarbone. I, I, I had a... broke my collarbone. Had quite a bit of scar tissue in it. And wherever you have scar tissue, it seems to be a place where the uh, Morgellon slash Candida fungus concentrates its, its growth. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm about to get in my tub here. Maybe I'll just let this go for a minute because you know, my battery's going to give out pretty soon. So. No peeking. I'm probably not going to be able to get in this right now. It's probably too hot. <laughs> That's fucking hot. Cool it down a little bit. Cool it down, you got to slow it down. Ooh, watch out, you're gonna lose control. Cool it now, you got to slow it down, slow it down. You're gonna fall in love. Cool it down. out of the, the uh, water for some reason. I think there's a hole in the pickup to the uh, pump. It's drawing air. Either that or the well's going dry. <laughs> Let's hope not. They would love to get everybody on city water. Drink our fluoride chlorine mixture. Fuck. Uh, okay. Well, water is the only way to go. <laughs> I remember that point at the mirror. I'm wearing the cooler. Oh, wow. The spray, uh, like copper chloride slash uh, witch hazel alcohol spray. Wait, they don't like it. See that shit? The, the pink MRSA looking uh, type of stuff. That's what happens when I burn the hairs off after a little while. These little lumps appear and they don't hurt. And they're really pink colored and there's, there's not pus in them. Nothing comes out. That's where the, the uh, Ellen's uh, chunks want to come out. I'm behind my ears too. So behind my ears, they don't bleed quite so easily because the skin isn't the same. Uh, it's just a hard lump that comes out <laughs> slowly and painfully behind my ears. Um, anyway, okay, hopefully that's cool enough. thing with the uh, these with my kind of uh, treatments for Morgellons is that uh, you burn the, the weird fiber hairs off of your skin where your skin swells and turns strange colors even if you can't see them there they're there and they'll burn you'll see the flames you'll smell the weird smoke and the swelling will go down and your symptoms will be reduced and you'll get the uh, the weird sore will come out there but also, there's another tie-in that's, um, it has to do with mucus, and, um, it has to do with your joints. 
because after I do some treatments or I burn off a whole bunch of an area, my joints in that near that area will pop and snap and crack and be relaxed. Maybe you can fight relaxed more, you know, it's not like popping in a bad way, it's like you cracked your back or you cracked your knuckles and, you know, boy, I'm turning excessively pink in this water. I don't think the stuff likes it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm always a little bit uh, pinkish colored, but oh, look at my toes. There's like black spots appearing right above my, my knuckles because all the joints are filled with it. And especially down in your feet because uh, look at the iridescent green along the edges. Like the vein is starting to work its way down toward my little toe. Weird. I wonder what that spot there is going to do. That's not dirt on me or anything. That's a spot where the skin is just discolored because it's so proliferated with the shit. Anyway, um, what was this thing? Oh, joints and mucus. Holy crap, there's a little white floaty thing right there. Looks like it just popped off on my knee. And I guess it could have been in the tub. Um, oh, mucus, so. So there's like, uh, uh, you burn them off or you use uh, iodine or uh, copper chloride. Stuff doesn't like it, right? Joints will pop and snap. But uh, what I've noticed too is like sizzling it off of my chest. If I you know, get out the barbecue lighter and just kind of it'll sizzle, 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 snap, 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 crackle, pop, right? And then I'll, uh, <coughs> I'll cough and it'll be a thick, gooey mucus, like nasty goo ball that's been stuck in my lungs for decades or something will suddenly come loose. Um, but it will also do it, I'll burn them off on my stomach <coughs> and I'll cough up some, some mucus will suddenly come loose and my back will crack. Or do it around my, my ankle and my knee and my, you know, my ankle will pop and crack and my knee will pop and crack and I'll still get mucus will come up out of my lungs. Like somehow there's a connection between the fiber hair that's growing out that you burn off or hit with some chemical and the joint, because the joint will crack, and then the joint cracks and mucus comes out of your lungs. So, this stuff is, um, it's everywhere. It's, it's, you know, full spectrum dominance. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's some coloration. Oh, yeah. another thing is that the angle, you look at the light, not straight on, but it angles. And uh, if your hair looks really metallic, <laughs> that's the more gallon shit. If you have hairs that, you know, you look at your arm hair and it's like extra gold in the sun. It sparkles, I think, from the uh, nano specks that come out of my skin. But, I mean, they're so small, there'll be like 10 of them in between two lines on a fingernail or on a finger print between two of the grooves. But you get them in the sun, and especially if you get a you know, magnifying glass, you can see. All right, it's time to dunk. Hopefully I didn't uh, flash any money on that. <laughs>